What's up everyone and thank you for stopping by the channel. Today's project is this weed eater trimmer and the problem is that it starts and runs but when you squeeze the throttle it dies. Let's see if we can find out what's wrong with it and hopefully we can fix it. In this video we repair this trimmer however it may not be the exact repair that you need to make to yours. We'll explore other situations later in the video. Now I'm not sure how you feel about weed eater brand equipment but plenty of people are still buying them. The most likely reason for this trimmer to start and run but die is that it's starved for fuel when the throttle is squeezed. So that everyone's on the same page, let's start it up and see if this problem is the same one you're having. Now to fix this problem, we're going to try adjusting the carburetor first, and if that doesn't work, then we'll try inspecting the carburetor for any further problems. To adjust the carburetor, you need to use a specific carb tool, and you can either buy the one you need, or buy a whole set of different styles. The adjustment screws are in the front and are easy to access. There's an L screw for idle adjustment, and an H screw for full throttle adjustments. We're only going to deal with the L screw, which is near the engine. Another option is to use an ink pen. This happens to be a Bic, but any other brands will probably work. Now the only feature that it needs is that the tip of the pin needs to be able to come out from the body. You might have to use some pliers to help you remove the tip. And what you have left is a makeshift carburetor adjustment tool. Now it's not an exact fit of course, but it will grab it enough to turn it. If you compare the end of the pin to the end of the carburetor tool, you can see that it's just a little bit smaller than the tool. That's exactly what we want. We need it to be a tight fit. Before we try it out, let's make sure it fits tightly against the adjustment screw. Now it does fit, but you have to push the pin really hard against the screw to get it to grab it. Now of course you can always use a cutoff wheel or some sort of Dremel to cut across the screw heads so that you can use a flathead screwdriver to turn them. However, that's a permanent modification, and if it's your equipment, then you can do whatever you want to it. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to push hard enough on the pin to actually turn the L screw, so I'll push a little harder this time. Were you able to hear that the engine changed both times when I added fuel? The first time, the engine speed increased, and it ran fine, but I added more fuel the second time, and it actually slowed the engine down. Now, just a side note, if you end up adding a lot of fuel, you're going to need to increase the idle speed to compensate for it. Another reason why your trimmer dies when squeezing the throttle could be a clogged spark arrestor screen in the muffler. In this case, you'll need to remove the screen and either clean it, or remove it completely. So my question is, have you ever thrown away a trimmer because it would start and run, but died when you squeezed the throttle? I'm really interested in your answer. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate your time. Please feel free to ask any questions, and I hope to see you in my next video.